Hello and welcome to the show. Brad Pitt has his concerns about President Donald Trump. In a new interview with French newspaper Journal du Dimanche, the Ad Astra actor, who also owns a French vineyard with ex Angelina Jolie, was asked his feelings about a tariff Trump has publicly considered imposing on French wine. I do not know, Pitt said, noting that he didn't know enough about the issue. I think we will always drink rosé in the United States, he said, adding that ultimately whether or not Trump does impose tariffs on French wine, there are much bigger issues at stake. Unfortunately, it's almost anecdotal. Trump represents a bigger, much bigger threat on such much more serious issues, he said. Pitt and Jolie brought the Merrillville estate in Provence in 2012, and despite their split, they remained committed to their winemaking. Chateau Merrillville's award-winning line of wines includes its signature rosé, which they have been selling since 2013, and was ranked as one of the top wines in the world. Trump also has a winery in Charlottesville, Virginia. Although Pitt has not spoken about Trump extensively, he has criticised the politician in the past. Man. I never thought that Brexit would happen. Same way I can't bring myself to think that Trump will be in charge. In the simplest terms, what brings us together is good and what separates us is bad, he said in a 2016 interview with the New York Times magazine T. The actor went on to reference a line from his 2015 film, The Big Short. When things are going wrong and we can't find the reason for it, we just start creating enemies, he said, adding that he's tried to understand where Trump's supporters are coming from. Coming from Oklahoma, southern Missouri, which leans more toward a Trump voice, I try to understand it. It seems that people who suffer the most end up betting for the party that would hurt them. And so I try to understand where they're coming from, Pitt added. Most Americans don't have time to watch CNN, Fox and Al Jazeera, he added. They're trying to make the rent get the kids fed, they're tired when they get home and they want to forget about everything. And so suddenly when his voice comes in, and it doesn't have to be a voice of substance, saying he's fed up with all of this, that's the part that hooks into the DNA. Thank you.